Hey everybody, it's Jenny and I am here today with you to share how I planned this week in my classic happy planner. There's a look at last week with stamps and that planner society layout or kit and this week I'm trying something that I have not really tried ever before. So it's going to look a little bit different than what you're seeing here but I'm really looking forward to it and hopefully you guys will like it too and it will maybe give you guys some ideas for your own planner. So why don't we get started? I decided the other day that I really wanted to try a monochromatic layout. I hadn't really ever done that before. I've done it where I choose a couple of colors but never where I really just only worked with one. I'm also doing something a little bit different with my stamps. My friend Courtney Miles does some beautiful planner layouts and she always has these big alphabet stamps that she uses from Sweet Stamp Shop in her pages and I just always really like the way that it turns out so I thought you know what why not give it a go in my own planner see what I think about it and I actually did sort of a practice layout as well and I will have that on my Instagram if you want to see that one too so I decided that I would use this cartoon alpha from Sweet Stamp Shop and I would use this hot pink Versa color ink and did I say stamp set? I don't know. Anyway, and stamp the different sort of categories of things that I use. So down the side, I'll have all of my to do's in that bottom box because down the side, I stamped to do. Now across the top in the opposite direction, I am going to spell out the abbreviation for appointments and I will at the end of the video do some coloring in of these alphabets, but I absolutely wouldn't have to and that's kind of the beauty of the whole thing. So this week I am going to color in. We'll see what the future holds if I do this again and if I color in there as well. So now you can see that I did do my typical pre-planning with my sticky notes and I won't let that stop me from adding all of the rest of the bits and the pieces and also that stamping. Now, because I'm going to stick with a monochromatic layout, this will take a little bit longer than normal because I'll be searching for all of the different pink colored items in my stash. And so that's a little bit harder and hopefully it won't bore you too terribly. Now I'm going through my Scraptastic Club stickers and I found that one right there. It's kind of an odd shade. It's really more of like a lavender pink and I'm using my Tombow dual brush pen with this beautiful bright pink to write that in. Well, I'm sitting here thinking I really love this color but I'm not sure I love the effect in my planner with that particular size tip. So as I'm writing here, that's kind of what I'm thinking about how I'm not sure this is exactly the pen I should be using. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is don't get too terribly attached to the stickers that I use because I will probably be changing those here in just a little bit. Now I am going to use a stamp and I had originally chosen one but I didn't want the two things to be the same next to each other so I chose this one instead. And I'm going to be using a Prima chalk ink that's that lighter pink color. Chalk ink is great for your planners. It won't bleed. It's a pigment ink so it's safe to use in your planner without bleed through and those types of things. These are at least all of the Prima ones that I have used are really rich and thick ink it's definitely very a very juicy ink pad if you enjoy that and if you don't then you might want to steer clear the Prima those little ink pads are usually just a couple dollars if I can find one online that is similar at least to the one that I used I will link you up in the comments below so now I'm going to go ahead and write in that box the appointment and I'm loving the pink so far now maybe Pink is kind of an odd choice for the end of September. I know it's really kind of more of a spring or a summer color, but for me in Southern California, it's still gonna be hot this coming week, so no bother there. I'm putting down a sticker from the Planner Junkie and I will link up her shop down below. You can also get a discount if you use my code, which would be wonderful. And I'm going to then also add my to-do list in the bottom and that's another Scraptastic Club as well. And I will, of course, link you up to her. Now, this is that little phone that you see me use all the time now. I just really love it. It's perfect for my weekly meetings that are done on the computer, and I love them. They're perfect. And I know you're thinking, wait a minute, the computer or the phone? 
I know it's super confusing, but I like it nonetheless, and I'm going to use it, and that's all that really matters. Isn't that right? Okay, so remember when I told you I didn't love that pen? So yeah, that's kind of where we're at here. I'm going to just replace the stickers with something else because I did not love it. And I know I normally tell you guys it's only a week, live with it, blah, 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 blah. But I was so... I had just started with that pen. I only wrote three things with that pen and two of them could be removed. So I decided that I would just start over because it was only two little things and I could easily make that work. So I've just exchanged those two stickers for two from the Planner Junkie, different shades of pink and different types of stickers. And then now I'm going to use a Papermate flare pen. Now I'm also going to use that little Harry Potter stamp sheet or stamp Oh my gosh, sticker sheet that you just saw, but you'll have to wait a few minutes for me to use that. Now I'm just going to ink up this doctor icon, and originally I'm going to put it at the top, then I switch it because, as you can see, I already used that same smaller stethoscope up above, and I didn't want to have them right next to each other, so I decided to switch them. Now I'm just using that super cute little peekaboo box just to point to that icon. That's something that I haven't been doing a whole lot lately. I'm not sure why. I've kind of forgotten about that or something. I don't know. But I decided here it would be the perfect use for it, and it's super cute. Now, I love, love, love those boxes from Scraptastic Club that I'm using right there. They're some of my favorites. I love that they have a colored background. I love her paper, and these designs are just fabulous. So I'm super excited to be using that right there, and I'm also super excited to be bringing in a different variation of pink because I just really wanted this to be fun and fresh and a whole bunch of different colors of pink. Now, I could have obviously stuck with one shade and gone from there. But A, that would have been significantly harder to do, and B, just not quite as fun or interesting. Now that's a super, super, super old sticker that I have, so I couldn't even begin to tell you where I got that one, but it'll do the job right there on Wednesday. And remember those Harry Potter stickers? I know it totally has nothing to do with Monday and Tuesday. It doesn't go with the rest of the week. It won't go with the washi that I'm using. And I don't even care because I thought it was really fun. And I love having that little bit of whimsy and things that interest me on my planner pages. And so why not use a little sticker of Hermione Granger? If you like Hermione or any other Harry Potter things, you can get that sticker sheet in the Planner Junkie. Etsy shop. Now I'm going to move on to Thursday and I'm kind of trying to keep in mind all of the things that I have going on that part of the week. So like your Thursday and your Friday because I want to add a little decorative element. I want to use some hexagon stickers and so I need to just sort of mindfully look through what I've got to choose from and see how I can make both of those things work. How I can make a little decorative part work and then how I can also incorporate the hexagon stickers as well. I'm super excited to be going through these particular decorative stickers. I haven't used them in ages, and so I'm really happy to be pulling those back out. And most of these stickers you can still get in the Scraptastic Club shop. Not all of them, but a large portion of them. Now, you can see I have that little decorative element right there on Thursday and Friday morning. Isn't it so pretty? I love the combination of the pinks, and it just looks really, really good. Now, I'm going to take some of these hexagons that I have and combine them together for a little cluster just so I can notate my volunteering for Friday morning. It's really, really, really cute, and I just wanted to have something a little bit more playful and fun. I always feel like this uh, half of the week ends up being a little bit more sparse looking than the front half of the week or the first part of the week, and so I thought, you know what, why not? Let's add some decorative fun flair while staying completely functional. Now I'm laying down that little floral one and also combining a pink one and then I'm going to cover up most of the part of that green stem of the top decorative part, which I'm loving that idea because it takes it back to being mostly pink minus the little bit of yellow in that floral sticker. But I've just really, really, really liked the way that it all tied together and it looks like just one giant cluster right there. Now I want to add a little bit more and make it have a little bit more of a layered and clustery feel since I just said cluster and 
I'm going to look through all of these different like word, fetty, word strip type stickers and see if I can find one that is relevant and would work with that different cluster. So I found a nice big one. It layers across all those two stickers and I love the end result. So it worked out really, really well. I love going through my stash and I love seeing what I still have available. It really just makes me so happy to not only use up some of the products that I have, but return to some old favorites that I know that I love too. So it's definitely a win-win as far as I'm concerned. Now I added that little notebook sticker and then I'm going to now work on stamping out the word weekend with the same alphabet stamps that I used before. Now this time I'm using that lighter pink ink pad, the Prima Chalk ink, and I just did that for a little bit of to make it different than the other half of the week. Now obviously for continuity sake I would have used the bright pink that I used at the beginning if I wanted it to all be the same, but I didn't, I wanted it to be a little bit different. So I decided that I would just go with the Prima Chalk ink and see what happens. Flash forward, I end up really liking it a lot, so. Now one of the things that I'm really enjoying about this technique is it really gives all three sections like something to look at. It makes it sort of stand out and defines each section. And then it also gives me that really nice visual triangle between all three words. You'll see that at the end when I pull it all together and just makes it definitely design-wise very visually appealing. See that right there, how they're all in that triangle. I think they just look really great and you might see this a little bit more in the future because I think it just is kind of fabulous, I'm not gonna lie. So now I'm going to go ahead and ink up this little task list stamp and stamp that out right there. And then I will do it again for Thursday. I just wanted them to all be different, all of the different little to-do lists, just to keep it more interesting. Because as you know, I have been varying where I put my checklists recently like some in the top, some in the middle, some in the bottom. And so because I'm keeping them all in the bottom, which is totally fine, I'm just going to change each list. Now, side note, you did see in that Thursday, I re-inked just a couple more boxes to make my to-do list a little bit longer. Sometimes midweek, I have a lot of things that I need to get done, and I wanted to make sure that I gave myself plenty of room without having to pull that back out later in the week. Now I still have some things to notate over the weekend and so I'm just breaking out that stamp that matches that sticker I used on Wednesday and I love it. I just, I really love the shape. There's plenty of room. I have lots of things that I can fit into that box so it really works out great and I love how I paired it in the morning kind of with that big giant cluster of stickers from Thursday and Friday because it leaves that bottom right hand corner open for decoration or whatever I might need it for. And I'm pulling out just that tiny little icon that was in that different stamp set. Oh yeah, I totally dropped it by the way. And then I am finished with that little block. Now you're seeing how the majority of the week has come together now and I will try to throughout the week use my pink pen to write on it to keep the pink theme going as opposed to just bringing in my black pen and being all like, oh yeah, I'm going to do that, you know. So now I'm looking for some decorative stickers and I'm going through my sticker stash and seeing what I can find that is pink and I can bring in right here just for some decoration because obviously I have plenty of room left in Saturday and Sunday to write any things that might crop up in the future. Now I am initially just going through the stash because that's what I have used for the rest of the week. But then I decided that because I'm not able to find something like that, I will just go with happy planner stickers because I knew that there would not be a problem finding beautiful pink stickers to use in that lower right hand corner. So you can see there I'm pulling out one of my quote books that I had created and I, I was just really sort of conflicted and torn about what to choose. I knew I wanted to do a little bit of sticker layering but I wasn't sure like mm, which direction should I go and which stickers should I use. So I'm just going to flip through until I find the perfect thing. 
Now, like I said before, I'll try to link up most of the supplies that I've used here down in the comments below. If you're still watching, you may have noticed that I am using affiliate links now. And if you click on those and then you end up buying something from that website, it definitely helps me out. And so even if it's just a few cents for your purchase, it definitely helps me out. So if you would be so kind to use those when you purchase, that would be fantastic. But you don't have to, and I don't want you to feel like you absolutely have to buy things from the links that I share or anything like that. I just wanted to let you know that I was using those now. Now I'm going to flip through some of the rest of these stickers to find things that will layer on top of that. I don't need the list portion, I just wanted that floral little box right there. So I figured that I could find something else that I could layer right on top of it. See right there, that's perfect. It looks so cute, I absolutely love it. Now I'm going to go back and find that flamingo that you saw at the very, very beginning because it's just so cute and add him right there to that little cluster because you know, you all know flamingos are my favorite and so why not bring one in when I can? And I mean, come on, if a pink wink week is not an opportunity to bring in some flamingos, I don't know what is. Now I'm also going to just use this doodle bug flamingo washi that I will link up to you in the comments below and you will be able to find your very own pink flamingo washi should you decide to that you absolutely need some as well. Now I just use my exacto knife to trim that off and then now I'm going to just add this little header at the top. My husband will be out of town so I just wanted to make note of that and that's what I used the washi for was just to to denote the days that he would be gone. Now I'm going to color in my different alphabet sticker, or different alphabets, I'm sorry. And what I'm going to do is, I'm trying to do a little ombre effect here using my Tombow dual brush markers. They're just so beautiful and I love them. And I love the ombre look. Now, skipping forward a tiny bit, I don't end up loving it as much as the one that I leave without ombre, one of these I will not ombre. And I do end up liking that one the very best. But what I will say about experimenting and trying new things is that I wouldn't know that I didn't like it as well if I hadn't tried it. So I'm super happy that I tried it and I will probably do it again in the future. I just didn't end up loving it here as much as I loved the plain one. But you know what, maybe that's not even true at all. Who really knows? I'm not even gonna get too excited about any of it because I still do like it and I do still think it looks really good. Now I'm using the brush end of it just to go a little bit faster. I do use the little, like the writing point of it sometimes when it's just a teeny tiny little part to color in so that I don't make a big huge mess with the brush pen. But otherwise I am using the brush to color these in. I'm also taking a darker pink and then blending it with the lighter pink to create that ombre effect. So you can see that I color the whole thing with the pink, the lighter pink first. I add the darker pink at the bottom and then I go back with the lighter pink and I blend them together to create that middle pink color without adding a middle pink color, if that makes sense. And like I've talked to you before about the dual brush pens, you can totally build upon your color, make it as dark or as light as you would like. Now at the, up at the top, I'm just going to use the lighter pink for the appointments and I end up very, very happy with it. And I love, love, love the way the colored in pink looks with the pink stamping ink. So that's pretty much it for me this week. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this super long video. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the box below and I will do my very best to get back to you. Thank you so much and make it a great day.